Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thornton. I'm a pediatric rehabilitation doctor. And today, we're gonna to discuss the top 10 questions you'll wanna ask your doctor if they recommend botulinum toxin for your child. Ask your doctor why botulinum toxin is recommended and what kinds of benefits or changes you can expect from the injections. There are several different kinds of botulinum toxin on the market. Be sure to ask what kind your physician plans to use. Dosing can vary depending on which kind of botulinum toxin is being used. Ask your doctor how long they expect botulinum toxin to last. This can vary between children, but usually it lasts between three and six months. Ask your doctor what you can expect after the injections. This can be just as important as the injection itself, and usually there might be an increase in therapy, a change in bracing, or something else, but be sure you know what the plan will be. Ask if your doctor thinks that the injection will need to be repeated. It does wear off eventually, and so for some children, the doctor will anticipate that they will need a series of injections. You might wonder if your child is too young for botulinum toxin injections, but this medication is used safely in babies as young as two months old, all the way up into adulthood. You'll want to be sure to ask what kind of technique your doctor plans to use for the injections. Some doctors use no sedation at all. Other doctors will use a mild cream to numb up the skin, and still others may take the child to the operating room where an anesthesiologist gives some mild sedation so your child is asleep during the injections. You might prefer that your child is put to sleep, or perhaps you don't want your child put to sleep. Either way, it's important to discuss your preferences with your doctor. Most parents want to know when they'll see results from the botulinum toxin. It's important to know that you won't see any changes in your child on the day of the injection. But for the most part, by about three weeks, the medication is in the muscle and working. You may want to ask your physician if they are a specialist in treating children with cerebral palsy. There are a lot of people who do, and common specialties are orthopedic surgery, rehabilitation medicine, neurology, and neurosurgery. 